If you'd like to see how I'm going to transform these jars of Prego Alfredo into these lovely simple painted glasses with a little bit of decals on them for Halloween. Hey YouTube. Watch this video. So today this is going to be a simple Halloween DIY. Um, it actually shouldn't cost you anything for the jars because as you can see these are just some Prego jars and some little mushroom jars that I had left over. These are some really good sturdy jars, so I just thought it made sense to keep them and to use them for DIY later on. So, what I'm going to do is turn these little jars into some little um, Halloween decor for your home if you're into that type of thing. And you can use these and put candy inside of them. Um, you can also use them to put pins inside of them or whatever your heart desires. So the first thing I'm going to do, I am going to go ahead and peel off the labels, rinse these off with some hot water, and then from there, I'm going to be using some vinyl, some signed vinyl. I cut this out using my silhouette cut cameo. out some Halloween clip art, and I sent it into my silhouette cameo. I cut out the ones that I'm going to potentially be using. I had some um, black sign vinyl and I also had some orange. So these are going to be for some other DIY um, Halloween decor things as well. But I'm going to also probably add some paint to these jars. So let me go ahead and get these cleaned off first. Okay, and then we'll so in this the next clip, day. I am in a program called Studio Designer Edition. And what I did is I copied some clip art from uh, Google Images and I pasted it in this program so that I can go ahead and cut these out uh, using signed vinyl and I'm going to put them on either some glasses, some glass jars and I'm going to show you guys how you can create some uh, Dollar Tree or cheap and expensive um, little scary jars, glass jars that you can see here. I have in. a clip art for, um, I typed in a screen mask. So that's what this one is. Uh, this one is just like a scary pumpkin face and another like goofy pumpkin face. So I'm gonna go back over to uh, Google. So I'm right here on Google and what I typed in here was a screen mask right over here. And this is what came up. I chose one that I thought fit what it will cut out in my cutter which I'm using a silhouette cameo. I'm not sure exactly how Cricut goes, but I believe it's like kind of similar how you can download things from online. This is just a little more in-depth video because some people like to know how I cut out what I cut out and what I use to put on glasses. So I'm trying to explain it the best way I can. Up maybe like a bat or uh, something simple that could be clipped out. So I'm gonna type in bat clip art. Okay. So you see how if these you do pop is you'll up. click on one that looks like something that you could and then copy you go and paste. to your program. You right click and you paste it. Now this is a really big image. Okay. It's huge. So I'm just gonna kind of resize it down. Okay, so I resized it so down. There's like this little butterfly looking icon where you could trace out. Um, click on image. Trace, select I'm the area. I'm going to click on trace, select the area, and I'm just going to highlight what it is that I want traced. Okay. See, it's going to turn yellow. And then I'm just going to scroll down over here. I know. I'm just going to click down here, and it says trace. Then you'll drag the original image away and you'll, you could just delete it and get rid of it. And then you have your bat image right here. You could size it to what size you like. I may or may not use that. I'll just leave it here because I'm going to cut out a few things and see what I want to use. I'm going to show you one more. I'm going to type in spider clip art images and make sure you click on images so you get more uh, to choose from and also if you don't have a cutter you can buy these type of images or you could buy the download so there's goofy it. looking spiders or you can download one that looks 
more realistic. And I'm gonna do the same thing and select trace, it. Select the area. Trace. Delete that, and then I have the spider here. So I'll go ahead and um, okay. So cut this these is out. everything that I have compiled from online that I'm gonna cut out. I'm gonna be um, using black vinyl to cut these out. So then what I'm going to do is what am I gonna do? Uh, go up to the top here and click on the send. And then you make sure you have your settings right. Um, if you want it to be, if it's a thicker um, vinyl or you're using a thick glitter, you can change that to like maybe uh, 13 or 15. I'll leave that at 11. Then you make sure your cord is connected to your laptop and you click this on. This is what it looks like. Mine is a little bit oh, already down here. And that's what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and hit send. Once I hit send, this will start cutting. Okay, so I have all the jars all cleaned off. I cut the labels off and then I had to peel them. Use really hot water. Scrub them really good with some type of Brillo pad or some type of scrub pad. And there was like some type of gooey glue on the larger size ones. And I just used some dish liquid and like really gave it a good scrub. Same thing with this one, but for some reason this one really gave me a run for my money. But I got it all off. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the larger size one. So the larger size one I'm going to paint orange. Now I was thinking I would paint the outside of it, but I'm thinking it'd be okay. a lot better if I'm gonna put a decal on it for the smoothness if I paint I the inside. I picked up some so. orange crafters square paint from Dollar Tree. And you get quite a bit for a dollar, I guess. So I'm gonna go ahead and squirt this in here and paint my jar. I may have to do two or three coats, but I'm just gonna keep going and move on to the next one and maybe use a different brand of paint if I have to. So the only color that really needed two coats was the orange. It's up to you if you'd like to do two coats of the other colors, I just did one. This paint is much thicker, much better coverage, and um, I don't think I'll buy that Dollar Tree paint anymore. It's just way too thin. But yeah, this one is gonna look a lot more like probably what I want it to look like with just one coat. Black paint in the smallest jar. Again, this is very um, <clears throat> low quality paint. If it's too bad, I'll just have to too bad actually looks pretty I'm not gonna worry about it because, so that because part this be orange showing. looks so cheap and just super watery I'm sure to serve a purpose for something else and I could have left it like this to make it like I guess spooky I don't know but I'm just gonna use an apple barrel um, paint from Walmart and the color is called pumpkin orange which is great so, I'm just gonna squirt some of this pumpkin orange inside and work that in. It's a little thin too, but I can see it's thicker than the one that I have. And however this one looks, it, it'll just have to work. I don't wanna take too much time on this, so I'm just gonna work some of this other orange in here as well. It just may need two coats, but the other two are fine so far. little better okay so I let these dry overnight I even added a little okay, bit so more I let paint. these dry overnight the orange still was a huge fail um, as you can see it's not um, I did two layers and this paint just would not 
thick. I don't know what's going on with it. It's just bad. But you get the gist of it with the orange. Whatever paint you decide to use, hopefully it has a, a much better coverage. Um, the white, I just did one layer for the other ones. It's not 100% perfect, but I think this white is a lot better. And then the black actually worked pretty well. So Take what I'm going to do now, and wipe, wipe these, these jars, jars off. I'll be adding the vinyl. And then we'll be giving me a hard time for some reason. Sometimes it does that. So I'm just gonna pull it off going upside down. And because of how whack this um because of how whack this paint is. I'm so glad that I did put the paint on the inside and not the outside because it would have just ruined everything. Okay, so here is the first jar. And I guess with the paint looking kind of messed up like that, it actually makes it look pretty cool. Like it's distressed, like it's, like it's some hot lava or something in it. Now I'm gonna move on to the okay, second so jar. Okay, so now I'm going to put this one on and just kind of line it up like this. And just smooth that on. Third and final jar. craft things in there. Um, you could put your makeup brushes in there if you want to, just to give you an idea. And for this one, you can put makeup brushes in there as well. So this does conclude this video. This was um, a fun DIY that you can do um, with your kids. You could do these with the students at your school. You could do these for your home and just leave them out. You can get really creative with them, I, like I said, and make them be reversible. Um, and again, remember, these were just some Alfredo jars that I had already had and just kept them because they're good sturdy glass. Very good sturdy glass. So don't be throwing away those Alfredo jars. You can always repurpose them later. Don't mind my, my orange paint. For some reason, it's just a little janky, but you still get the gist of it, you know? And you can switch it up and get more fun with your colors. You definitely don't have to use the same colors that I use. If you don't have a I cutter, use. maybe what you can do is maybe draw with a marker. If you're really good and sturdy with your hands, you could do something like that. Um, so this does conclude this video, and this is a simple DIY. That you okay, you guys, here is the final finished result of this DIY. I hope you did find this helpful. This was very, very simple. This is something I feel like you can't mess up. Even I kind of messed it up with the orange and it still came out pretty okay. As long as you have some type of cutter, maybe a Cricut or a Silhouette Cameo, you can do something like this. And you can also, like I said, switch up the colors. I did allow the paint to dry overnight. You're welcome to buy some jars or something from Dollar Tree. Um, or wherever you like, but if you have some Alfredo jars or the smaller jar, which I said was um, for mushrooms, this will be great to use and see how you can repurpose these. You can put these in your classroom if you're a teacher. You can put this on your desk if you work from home or if you work in the office. Um, thanks again, you guys, for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it, and thanks again for watching. Bye-bye. Check out our website, myworldradiance.com, and we do carry faux leather-inspired designer fabric for your crafting needs, luxury-inspired croc charms, as well as iron-on patches, and much more. Enjoy the coupon code, myroyalbeauty 10 off. Check out our website, crtacticaldefense.com, where we do sell in-waistband gun holsters, belly band holsters, and many more. Please check out my discount code, Vibes, for a special discount for my... You can follow me on Instagram at life is a whole vibe with underscores in between each word. 
Also, you can follow me with the same name on TikTok as well. Another great thing about this DIY is if you do not have a cutter, what you can do is take a black marker. If you can draw pretty well, you can draw a spider and you can draw the face of the, the ghost or the pumpkin face or you can make some type of stencil and color it in that way. Or you can use stickers. So don't be discouraged if you don't have a cutter. Thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye.